This is AZ Fudd and you're watching One on One on the NFHS Network. There's no player more dominant in the girls' high school basketball ranks right now than Washington, D.C. native AZ Fudd. As a matter of fact, she's one of the best prospects we've seen in a long time. AZ is the top-ranked girls' basketball prospect in the class of 2021, and her resume will blow you away. She was offered a scholarship by the University of Maryland in the sixth grade. Last year, she became the first sophomore to ever win a Gatorade National Girls Basketball Player of the Year award, and this year she won her third straight state title with the St. John's College High School Cadets. And she did this after missing most of the season recovering from a knee injury. She wasn't even at 100% and still got the game's MVP award. It was really exciting. Uh, our team, we grew a lot closer this year just because like all of our up and downs that we went through. Um, so being able to come back and be like part of the team with them and win it with them and then being MVP, it was really exciting. AZ, let's take it back a little bit though because you're not just one of the more interesting prospects that we've seen in a long time, but you have a very interesting personal story. Your mom is this great college basketball player who plays in the WNBA. Your dad is a college basketball standout. You were named after Jennifer AZ, the WNBA legend, and your parents got married on a basketball court where they told their guests to wear sneakers because they didn't want to scratch up the court with heels and formal shoes. Do you sort of feel like you were born to be a hooper? Um, I mean, kind of. I, my parents, um, they never like, well, they made me start playing because I didn't, I didn't like stepping out of my comfort zone. So I grew up in a gym, but I never really wanted to play. And they made me start playing. And once I did, I fell in love with it. But um, it's never really like pressure from them. Like they, when I was younger, they they always said like, we want you to find something that you love. So if it's not this, then you'll find something else. And it just happened to be basketball. And so I think, um, I'm also really lucky to have them because they can also, not many people can say that both of their parents have been where you want to be and can help you like reach your goals. Like they understand everything I'm going through, the college process, um, like recruiting, but also like getting better and working to get to the next level. On that note, you've often been compared to Maya Moore since you were a little girl even. People have compared you to her game and she's one of the greatest to ever do it. But do you feel like that's a fair comparison, especially for your age? Do you just sometimes let people say, hey, let AZ be AZ, or is that just a great honor for you? It's really humbling being compared to one of the like greats of women's basketball, but um, I don't know, it just motivates me to get better. It's like they see, people see something in me that they saw in her one of the best women's players, so I use that as motivation. So you're part of the Unicorn Fam, which is just a collective of some of the best young basketball stars right now. James Wiseman, RJ Hampton, both projected NBA lottery picks this year. Uh, Jalen Green, the top incoming college freshman. How cool is it for you to sort of transcend that typical wall people build between girls and boys basketball and just sort of be a part of this cool, unique group of young hoopers? Um, it's amazing. I, I really have seen like a lot of progress for the women's basketball platform, like, especially like, when you read comments of like overtime or slam thing, there's not as many like, oh, girls basketball is so boring, like go make a sandwich. Like those comments are so annoying, but I feel like I've seen less and less of them, which is, I feel like that's an accomplishment that people are like really starting to respect the women's game more. And I also think that we have like, um, amazing role models for young girls to look up to, like Sabrina Inescu, and I mean, Kobe did an amazing job of breaking that barrier too. So I think it's come a long way, and there's still a long way to go. You've had the spotlight on you from a young age. I mean, you were offered a college scholarship in the sixth grade by the University of Maryland, and you didn't even know how big of a deal that was at the time you were so young. You obviously won a gold medal with the U.S. Olympic U16 team as a 14-year-old. You were invited to Steph Curry's SC30 camp, obviously, one of the first girls ever to be invited to that. And you actually won the three-point shooting contest, beat all the boys there. So out of all of those moments and, you know, your three state titles and the Gatorade National Player of the Year Award, what is the coolest moment for you? Um, I think the Gatorade Player of the Year was really special just because... Um, I was the first sophomore to do it and I was completely shocked to have won. Like I had no idea it was going to happen, but I would say like the most special probably 
winning the gold medal with the U17 team. Yeah. Um, just because, I mean, it's, it's always a complete honor to wear your country across your chest and win a gold medal. Like, it's, it's an amazing feeling. We're obviously living in interesting times right now. The coronavirus pandemic going on, it has honestly changed everything in our world. How has it sort of altered your plans for the summer and just some of that preparation you wanted going into your senior season? I'm kind of bummed, especially since I didn't get to play a lot AAU last summer and this is my last year, but I'm keeping out hope that we'll play a little bit towards the end of the summer. We'll see, but um, it's just, it's getting me more excited for um, high school season. Like uh, when I go to high school season, I, I want to go out winning everything. She's AC Fudd, I'm Sudo Upadea. This has been one-on-one -on, -one on the NFHS Network.